Hey everyone, thank you so much for signing on today for POAC's online recreational events. My name is Brittany from POAC, and as you can see, I'm in a cute little bubble right now. I am in the office, happy to be back. <laughs> so every single Tuesday, as you know, we have yoga with the amazing Jennifer from Jenny Zen Yoga. She's gonna get us all loose and centered. And guys, always remember, we have time for our walkathons. Our walkathons are July 19th. Uh, sign up now uh, to start your team. It is from wherever you are. It's going to be a great day and post all on our social media. So, also, if you missed last week or the week before for you, you can check out our YouTube channel at POAC Autism Services. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. So you won't miss a thing. So, I see some comments coming through. Really excited to do this yoga today. All right, everyone, here's Jennifer. Hi everybody, I'm from my usual office, still at home. I see my friends are signing on, so good to see you, happy to be here. If you're new to our Yo Tuesday Yoga, welcome. We're so happy to have you join us. And you can go on to the YouTube channel and um, catch some of our back episodes if you'd like to. So let's get ourselves settled in. Come to any comfortable seat. Your legs could be crisscross. Um, you can have your legs out straight if that's more comfortable to you. And let's feel our spine grow really tall. Top of our heads coming to the ceiling, hands are at our sides for a moment. We're feeling our shoulders come down. Let's take a deep inhale through our nose and an exhale through our nose. Another inhale and exhale. Good job. So now let's bring our hands into any comfortable position. So maybe you would like your hands just on the tops of your legs, palms down, palms up, thumb and first finger touching like you're making an okay sign. Backs of the hands are on there. This is called chin mudra. I call it yoga fancy. That's my favorite name for it, yoga fancy for our hands. And again, feel those shoulders come down. And again, eyes can be open or closed. Feel that inhale through your nose and your exhale through your nose. Let's just do a couple, get ourselves ready for today. Big inhale, big exhale. Big inhale, big exhale. One more. Nice job. Now, because we've been talking about different things in the ocean, getting ready for summer, um, we're going to start with our puffer fish breath today. So we're going to take a deep inhale through our nose and then push those cheeks out as you're blowing that air out of, out of your mouth. <laughs> Maybe your cheeks are pushing out. Maybe it sounds like raspberries. Big inhale, big exhale. Big inhale, big exhale, push those cheeks out. Last one. And now we're going to come into our ocean breath. So remember with our ocean breath, again, we're going to take that air in through our nose and we're exhaling out of our mouth, but the trick is our mouth stays closed. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And let's sit with our back straight. I caught myself, I was, I was getting slouchy. Big inhale, exhale, close mouth. Next time that we exhale, listen to that breath as it comes out. Big inhale, Exhale, close mouth. How many people thought that they sounded like the waves coming in and out? How many people thought they sounded like the wind? It's been really windy lately, so maybe you sounded like that. Who sounded like Darth Vader? I did. Love the Star Wars stuff. So anyway, whatever you think you sound like is fine, but another big inhale. Exhale through the closed mouth. Two more, you know what to do. Last one.
Coming into our flexibilities, let's stretch a little bit. Let's inhale our arms really big up overhead and exhale, wrist circles coming down. Big inhale, arms overhead, wrist circles coming down. One last time. Big inhale. Big exhale, wrist circles coming down. Big inhale again. Gentle twist to one side. You could do it the same way I'm doing it or go to the opposite way. That's okay. We're just going to make sure, big inhale to the center, that we're going to both sides. Big inhale and a gentle twist. Big inhale and a gentle twist. Big inhale back to center, wrist circles one more time. Okay, coming into our seated twist with twisted legs. And remember we have two options for our twisted legs. We can have one leg crossed on top of the other, or if that's uncomfortable to you, whatever legs on the bottom, come straight out and the other knee stays on top. So again, doesn't matter which leg you do first, we're going to do both of them, one on top of the other or bottom leg out. Let me just adjust this a tiny bit so you can see my legs. And if you have one leg on top of the other, try to push those heels forward. So almost like we're trying to see like our toes having a straight line here. Again, let's sit up. Nice and tall, spine is straight, chin's nice and parallel. Big inhale, exhale to the side. Big inhale, exhale to the other side. Big inhale, let's push our palms out to the sides, nice and slow, bringing our hands down. Let's stretch those legs out a minute, pushing our hands forward, big inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Crossing our legs the other way now. So one leg on top of the other or that bottom leg stays out straight and the, just the top leg is twisted over. I'll do it that twisted this time. So again, spine is straight, big inhale, twist in one direction. Big inhale back up to the center, twist in the other direction. Big inhale up to the center. This time we're gonna have our palms reaching out, fingers are flexed down, nice and slow. Good job, this time legs out straight, hands and arms out straight, Wrist and ankle circles. And switch. And come back into any comfortable seat. So if you'd like to keep your legs out, that's fine. Or crisscross. And still continuing. Spine straight. Hands are resting. Big inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale up to center. Look forward. Exhale, tilt the chin up to the ceiling. Back to the center, look to one side. Back to center, look to the other side. Back to center, ear coming down to the shoulder. So not shoulder up, shoulders down. Inhale, exhale, other side. Inhale back up to center. We're coming into our torso roll. So big inhale, exhale, hinge forward a little bit. See more of my friends are coming in. Very nice. Big inhale back, exhale forward. Inhaling back, exhale forward. One more time. And exhale forward. We're going to freeze. Come the other way. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, come forward and freeze. Let that head drop down, slowly rolling up. Head comes up last. Let's stretch our legs out for a minute. And if you want to, just switch which legs in front. So coming into some of our faces, we're gonna start with our jaw. Move it back from side to side. Look kind of funny. And let's make our fishy face and big smiles. Fishy face. Big smile. Let me see all those teeth. One more. Fishy face. Big smile. Nice. Let's take one arm. Bring it out in front of us. Other hand on the back of the arm. So maybe you're like touching your shoulder, almost like you're giving yourself a hug and stretching that one arm that's in front. Big inhale and exhale, switch to the other side. Big inhale, exhale, arms down. One hand up all the way to the ceiling. Hinge over to one side. So I'm not rolling over. I want to keep my whole bottom, my legs on the ground, and I'm just reaching. Big inhale up. Exhale that arm down. Inhale. And the other side. Big inhale up. And hands down. Let's think about our shoulders for a minute. So we're going to bring our hands in front of us. Just bring our shoulders rolling forward one at a time. Almost like we're walking really tough. Let's go backwards. And let's bring our arms out, palms down, small circles coming forward. Freeze, small circles going back. Freeze, lower them down, small circles going forward. Freeze, small circles going back. And freeze, and lower those arms down. We're going to come into some of our asanas, like our big postures that we move with. So for the first one, we need to stand up. And we're going to imagine, I have to adjust, because you just, you don't want to just see me, you want to see my face too. So. Our feet are parallel, they're not too close together. My feet are a little bit apart. My hands are at my sides. And I'm going to sit down, like almost like I'm sitting in a chair, but my back is straight. My knees want to stay over my toes. So my knees don't want to come in like this. They wanna to try to stay out a little bit. So when we're straight, we're sitting back, knees are open. Hands are coming to our heart center, and we're going to twist to one side. Coming back to the center, twist to the other side. Coming back to center, arms can come out. We're going to twist again. Back to center, twist again. Coming back to center, straighten those legs. And we're going to come down and sit on our bottoms, coming into our boat pose. So remember, we've been talking about our book, Commotion in the Ocean, and some of the poses that we've been doing. So a lot of our poses today are coming from this book by Gilles Andre. And we have some new ones to add. But first, we're going to work on boat pose. Three choices, remember that. Feet are on the floor, looking straight ahead, arms are out, come back, feel that belly working. That's your first choice. If you're like, I've got this, lift those feet up, shins are parallel to the floor. Second choice, 
third choice, straighten your legs. So we're also thinking about our sacrum. So our sacrum is not our lower back and it's not our bottom. It's that space right above it. And we're going to balance there. So we're doing a balance while we're sitting. So sitting up straight, feet are on the floor. Think about first way, second way, third way. Which one do you want to do or if you want to try all of them? Let's take a deep inhale. Side out of our mouth. <sighs> Hands out. Coming back onto our sacrum. Feel that belly working. Shoulders down. Boat pose, first way. If you'd like to try more, legs up. You can be flexed or pointed. And if you want to go the third, you almost look like the letter V. Let's sit up. Let's hug our knees into our chest. And then just sit comfortably. We're going to come into our crab pose. So we've been doing crab poses for a while. The crab likes walking sideways. And I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. So for crab pose, both feet are on the floor. Hands are behind you. Your fingers are pointed towards your bottom. You push into your hands and your feet and lift your bottom. You look like a table. Let's lower down. Now, let's see if we can be in those sneaky crabs. Maybe we can go from side to side. Feet down, hand, push in. And going back and forth, trying to keep that table shape. So that is a challenge. So that was our first week we did crab pose. Last week, we did our dolphin pose. And the wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not how do you do, as I'd say to you, it's more of a click, whistle, squeak. And for dolphin pose, we had a couple of choices. First choice, hands and knees in our tabletop pose. Knees are a little bit apart, tops of the feet are on the floor, lowering down on your forearms, bottom in the air, head down and you can hold your hands together if you'd like. That's one variation of dolphin. The second one is from our tabletop, we curl our toes under, we lift our bottom up and we look at our belly. So this is our down dog. If you've done yoga before, this is called down dog. But for dolphin, once we're in down dog, we're going to lower down, onto our forearms, okay? So for dolphin, you have two choices. Go to tabletop and down, head down, or tabletop, down dog, arms down. Okay, so those are your choices. Think about what you're going to do. Everybody's going to start in tabletop. And so if you'd like to just go down, go ahead. Those of you who would like to go be taller, down dog, for arms down. Everybody's going to take two big breaths in and out of their nose. One more. If you're in dolphin with your bottom and your legs up, lower to your knees. Tops the feet on the floor. Everybody's coming up to tabletop and then come down on your belly. And we're going to do our new move for today, which is angelfish. So there's our angelfish. So hello, I'm the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. So that is for all of us. So angelfish is going to be what's called a bow pose in yoga. So to start, everybody is on their bellies, our hands out in front of you, feet behind you. Okay, We're going to kick one foot up to our bottom. And keep your chin on the floor. I'm just up so I can talk to you. Okay? So we're like this. You're going to take the same arm. So if your right foot's up, you take your right arm. 
You're going to reach it back behind you and lift your body up. Can you touch that foot? And stretch it all out. Okay, lift the other foot up. Same arm as that foot. Reach behind you, looking forward. Can you touch that foot? And stretch it back out. Now, if you can't touch your feet. Oh, okay, so our friends who felt the blood rushing into their head when they did down dog, you want to keep breathing and you want to come back down to tabletop too. It's good that you noticed that. Um, so also, anytime that you feel a little tired or something feels a little different for you, just come and sit on your bottom and take a few deep breaths. That's a good thing to do. Thank you for letting me know, whoever, yo gabba yabba, whoever was, that was. But good thing noticing that. But sit down and take a few breaths. So going back to our angelfish pose, our bow pose, if you can't touch your feet, that's okay, okay? Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't, but I've been doing it for a long time too. So sometimes it takes a long time. When I first started doing angelfish pose, I couldn't touch my feet at all. And you might see me now, I might not be able to today because I haven't done it in a while. So let's try both feet, arms out, both feet up, chin down, Hands back, see, look, not reaching, that's okay. And lift your chest up, look forward, look forward. Big inhale and exhale, stretch it all out. Okay, one more time, both feet up, chin down, hands back, reaching, look forward. Breathe. Good job. One last big stretch. Let's push back up into our tabletop. And let's just do a little couple of little cat cows just to stretch. So thinking back to our sacrum where we were sitting and balancing on when we were in boat pose, we're going to move that. So inhale, lift that sacrum, belly to the floor, look forward, inhale and move for your cow. Tuck that sacrum under, exhale, look at your belly, meow for cat. So inhale, move, and exhale, meow. One more time on your own. And coming back to sit on our bottoms. Okay, so legs are crisscross, hands are at our center. Take a deep inhale and let's twist to one side. One more breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the other side. Take two breaths here. Coming back to center. We're going to put our feet on the floor, almost like we're doing boat pose. Let's lower ourselves down. Hug our knees into our chest. Keep one knee in. One leg out on the floor, both feet are flexed. So I know you can't see me, that's okay. Now we're going to take another twist. The knee that's in the air, bring it across your body. Both shoulders are on the floor and you're looking at the ceiling. So just your lower body is twisting. Both knees back into the center. You stay where you are. Keep one leg in, one leg out, and bringing that knee over. Both shoulders down, looking at the ceiling. Twist happens with your legs. Coming back up to center, feet in the air, waterfall. Put your hands on your belly for a minute. Take a deep inhale. And a deep exhale out of your nose. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. 
One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hands are out at your sides. Can you lower your legs nice and slow with control? Okay. Coming into our starfish pose. So everyone can be on their backs. Hands are at your sides. Feet are open. So kind of like a starfish. You're looking at the ceiling or your eyes can stay closed. And you can, even if you want to put your hands on your belly, or your hands can be out. I'm going to sit up, but you can stay on your back. And I want you, we're going to do a little guided imagery. And I'm going to read to you. And you're going to think about it in your head. So we're not going to talk about it out loud. I know we would love to, but let's see if we could just think about it in our heads. And if you talk about it at home, that's okay, but that's up to your family. So today, since we were an angel fish, we're going to imagine that you are a fish and think in your head, what kind of fish are you? What color are your scales? Are you a big fish? or a teeny tiny fish? Do you have stripes or polka dots? Are you a rainbow fish? Where do you live? In the ocean? In a lake? In a river? Or in a stream? Imagine you start to swim. Feel how easy it is to swim as a fish. When you breathe, little bubbles float to the surface of the water. Imagine you can swim anywhere you want to go to as a fish. What do you do? Where do you go? What do you see? Do you hear any sounds? Imagine you jump out of the water. What do you see now? And then you go back into the water. Imagine that you find a school of fish that are just like you. You swim together in your school of fish moving at the same time. Imagine you keep swimming and exploring under the water with all of your fish friends. And now let's start to settle down and be quiet. You could be thinking about your fish, yourself as a fish, you could be thinking about your breath or you could be thinking on your inhale, I am, and on your exhale, getting ready for summer. Inhale, I am, exhale, getting ready for summer. Big inhales, big exhales out of your nose. See how still you can, your body can be and just feel your breath. Keep on breathing, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more times. Inhale, exhale, do it on your own. Now take one big inhale through your nose. Sigh it out of your mouth. <sighs> Wiggle your toes and your ankles and your feet. Slowly wiggle your legs, your belly, your upper body, your fingers and your hands and your arms. Just wiggle them. Maybe stretch your head or turn your head from side to side. 
Take a big stretch, arms overhead, point your toes, hug those knees into your chest one more time. Roll over on one side, push yourself up to sitting and face your device. Let's feel our back grow tall again. The crown of our head coming to the ceiling. And we feel nice and calm, just like an anglefish, angelfish, not an angle, angelfish going through the water. We're going to inhale and exhale our hands to our heart center. I thank all of my friends for coming to practice today. I love hearing from you. Please make sure you've done your walk team. I know a couple of you have already. I have my walk team set. Please make sure you're getting your walk team set for July 19th. I can't wait to see your pictures and your POAC shirts. And remember that the special light in me always sees and honors the special light in all of my friends. I wish you all a wonderful week. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy being outside. And we're going to finish with Namaste.